Okay, so this is going to be a review of two battery impedance testers that you see in front of yourself there. Um, both of these are from Hyoki. The one at the back is the 3550, that belongs to my company. Uh, that is around about 15, possibly coming even 20 odd years old now. And the one at the front there is the BT3554. Um, that has come to me via the Element 14 road test program for me to take a look at and give a comparison to the old instrument. Um, this instrument at the back is now obsolete. This is Aoki's current version. Okay, so this is the old instrument, the 3550. Um, what you get with this instrument is this set of leads. These have Kelvin clips on them. Uh, they go into the front of the meter there and plug in. So you've got four wire resistance measurement. With this particular set as well, you also get a temperature probe. That is, uh, the actual sensor is on the negative clip here and the probe plugs into uh, the top of the instrument here, like so, and you will get a temperature reading on the display at the same time as you're taking the impedance and the voltage readings. The other two connections here, this is for a remote button, so you can get the unit to hold and save the data as you take the readings, uh, as opposed to manually pressing the buttons on here, hold and a memo there. And then this is a printer output port for a thermal printer that you can connect to and once you've done all your readings, export it out via that to get the readings out of the instrument for analysis. Turn it on. Uh, this instrument has three resistance ranges, 30 many ohms, 300 and 3 ohms, and two voltage ranges, 3 volts and 30 volts. So the range is changed by manually selecting whichever range you want on the front here. Uh, you have a memory function, uh, save to memory, clear it and read memory and then print it. The 3550 can hold 260 records. Um, you cannot export this to a computer. You can either you can only send it to either the printer or you have to scroll through the readings and manually type them into a spreadsheet or something like that. Uh, you also have a comparison function on the old instrument. Uh, this gives you comparison bands for both the voltage and the resistance and the output is here on these three LEDs. Uh, again, you don't get anything saved with regard to that. Uh, and that is pretty much all you get with this instrument. Obviously, as you sit and look at it, it is designed to be used or stored within the case here. Um, so the instrument gets the protection from the case that it comes in. Okay, we'll move on to the new one. So slightly different setup with the new instrument. This comes in a hard case, which is pretty sturdy. Uh, over on the lid side here, you've got the instruction manual and a CD-ROM with the software in it. Uh, but you can download the software from the Hyoki website. Um, it is also only Windows software. I don't believe there's any software for um, that computer. At the top here, you've got a zero ohms adjust board, so you can carry out zeroing of the instrument prior to taking any readings. You can do that with the old one as well, but the old one doesn't come with the board. At the top here, the lead supplied with this. So you purchase this instrument with either a set of straight uh, duplex, uh, not duplex pins, these are concentric pins in here. You've got the double pin with the uh, source on the outside and the sense on the center pin, slight spring loaded on the center pin. Um, you get them in the straight version or you can buy the instrument with a right angled version as well for uh, narrow access spaces that you sometimes get in batteries. And that to one side. The instrument comes out of the case, so this one is designed more really to be utilised out of the case. You do get a strap with it uh, for hanging around your neck if you need to, and there's the USB comms leads. Put him up there out of the way. So the instrument itself, with regard to resistance and voltage measurement, this instrument actually has four 
resistance ranges. That's a 3 milliohm, 30 milliohm, 300 milliohm, and a 3 ohm range. So the 3 milliohm is an addition to this instrument. To change the range uh, on this, you keep pressing the ohms button until you find the range that you want. Same with the voltage, um, you just keep pressing the button to get whichever range you want. The voltage range is from 6 volts and 60 volt range, so they've doubled the voltage range on the instrument against the old one. What this also has is a backlight, which is not a brilliant backlight, but it's there. Uh, the old one doesn't have a backlight on it, uh, so that's another improvement that you get. We've also got a memory function here with the read button and the clear button. Uh, whereas the old one had 260 records, this can hold 6,000 records. So vast improvement there. And whereas the old one only put out to a printer, this one, we've got a USB port on here so you can plug this into a computer and download the results to the software. You also have the option of a Bluetooth, which this unit has. They do sell the unit without the Bluetooth option as well, so you can uh, get it slightly cheaper. So with regard to the memory function, um, whereas the old instrument is manually or both either on the keyboard or via a remote push button, this also has the remote push button. Uh, is that one there, sorry? So it has a remote push button as well that you can use, just a slightly different connector, um, but it also has an auto hold and an auto memory function. So you can move through and select this. So for the moment, there you see on auto hold, so to auto memory, uh, we have them both together. Um, so this instrument has set up every time you take a reading, we'll hold it on the display and store it into the next available memory slot. So this also has a comparison function. It works in pretty much the same fashion, except that instead of uh, LEDs showing the pass fail, uh, you get them as part of the LCD screen down here at the bottom. What this instrument also has is noise reduction technology um, that's supposed to improve the way the readings are taken. And the other instrument just had an averaging function available if you wanted it. So in terms of accuracy in comparison to the old unit, for the voltage measurements, this is 0.08% accuracy and the old unit is 0.15% accuracy, so great improvement on the accuracy there. Uh, that's both uh, adding plus or minus six digits as well. For the resistance measurements, the accuracy of this one is 0.8% plus or minus your six digits against 1.2% plus or minus the six digits for the old unit. So overall, there's been quite a lot of improvements on this unit against the old unit. What I will aim to do is to carry out some tests on some uh, actually valve regulated cells that I've got available to me. Some are old, some are new. So hopefully what I'll be able to do is give some comparisons to the functionality of this unit against the old unit. This unit is sold as being faster to capture the data than the old unit is. So I'll be looking to see what the improvements are in that aspect as well. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you again in the next video when I'll be making some measurements with these instruments.